this is your daily briefing you're most welcome to it on this the transfer deadline day um dushan kulusevsky the devil's in the detail and this adds to the whole thing we were talking about that player yesterday he's going to join spurs on an 18 month initial loan deal worth 10 million spurs have an obligation for to buy for 25 million should they qualify for the Champions League and the total fee could then exceed 40 million if he were to play over 50% of the matches available to him. And I have to say, and I know I'm going to draw pelters from some Tottenham fans who just this morning and all this week simply haven't been happy with anything. This is a prudent deal. As I said to you, this player did very well at Palmer, flatlined kinder at uh, Juve, and we need to find the player from, like I say, the 2019-2020 season. And if the type of management that um, Antonio Conte is able to give him, if the environment at Tottenham is right for him, and I'm talking about him getting game time, and I'm talking about the whole thing working, David Ornstein of The Athletic says that Ajax are now unlikely to bring Steven Bergwijn back to the Netherlands. The Eredivisie leaders have been trying to sign the Tottenham forward throughout January. But Antonio Conte is a fan of the Dutchman. I think he wants to keep him. He says, I actually think that Conte has weighed up his options. Seen a little bit of magic um, recently, Leicester City and, and such, from uh, Bergwijn. And... Um, you're better off having him than not having him. It's as simple as that. Unless somebody's going to really come in and make an impact. For an example, if um, this Kulovsky doesn't work um, and he's got goals in him, we know that. If he doesn't work, if he's out, you know, when his 18-month loan thing is, is, is up and we've still got a few years on the clock with Bergwijn, you would be foolish to remove the safety net. That's what I think the, 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 the line of thought there is by the club. Uh, Tottenham and uh, Lyon are now preparing documents for Tonki Dombele on loan. A buy option will have been included for the French midfielder, which a number of people are saying that that, that element of wanting the option to buy is coming from the Lyon side. So, you know, um, but the salary is going to only be met in part by the French side. So Tottenham are still going to have a sting in the tail even when he is gone, um, if that should happen. And apparently the player has been in France for 24 hours already. Rodrigo Betancourt is a new player at Tottenham, underwent a medical examination in Uruguay and signed a contract that binds him to Tottenham until 2026 last night, leaves Juventus permanently. So that's not a loan deal. Villarreal are in the race for low Celso. I'm sorry, it makes me smirk. Um, egg and the spoon race, sack race. I just don't see this as a conventional all out must get him kind of race. But apparently um, Emery wants Gio. Villarreal and Tottenham are locked in talks, talking about details of the salary to be covered and more. Again, this is another one where Spurs could be subsidising the boy even after he's left the premises. So those are the updates worth sharing you at the moment. Um, I've done a blog on theboyhotspur.com this morning about the um, absolute futility and stupidity of the protests at Hotspur Way. Um, and I've covered that before with you on here. Not in my name, thanks very much. Bunch of absolute losers. Um, and we'll just we'll just draw a line there. Not, not getting involved. I, I, I've set out my stall on that. Thumbs down, don't approve. What are you hoping to actually achieve? And that's that's the real thing. I think I think that's the thing that gets me. There's no mission statement. There's no. It's just like, we're going to go down there. And no thanks, no thanks at all. Um, I'll be back on the proviso that something else happens. If it, if it doesn't happen, and I understand um, that Kulevsky and that um, Bentancur are both in the air, and by that I mean, you know, in the clouds in an aeroplane. Um, but the deals are kind of done. I'd, I'd be surprised if they get announced today by Tottenham because the transfer window doesn't close until 11. It's possible, I don't know. But um, if anything, yeah, so if anything does happen, I'll, I'll see, speak to you later. Cheers, good luck, keep it on.